Hey, what's going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's gonna be a lot of fun. We have a brand new amp sim that came out of nowhere and I'm so excited to dive on in. Today we're gonna be checking out the Clairvoyant from Modern Metal Songwriter. Let's get into it, dude. So who is Modern Metal Songwriter? Well, actually it's a Facebook community group and a Facebook page ran by two producers. The whole idea behind the group is to get back to just writing good songs and not be so focused on dialing in tones. You know, we're musicians, we're creators, and at the end of the day, we want to write good songs, right? Enter the Clairvoyant. So the Clairvoyant does everything you could possibly want for a modern metal musician and or guitar player. However, the Clairvoyant is not focused on option paralysis and having a million bells and whistles and knobs. It's got a lot of tweakability but it's not solely focused on just deep diving into tones. I'll continue to explain, but let's jam real quick. Let's use the 78 Les Paul Custom Tune now to drop B and hear what this thing sounds like in a mix, shall we? So before we go any further, this is in fact a sponsored video from Modern Metal Songwriter as they're asking me to share this with you all, however, I don't have to do anything other than just jam and just hang out with you guys and do what I always do, okay? We cool on that? Alright. So orientating you to the actual amp sim, in front of the amp we have an overdrive, a fuzz, a lo-fi, love lo-fi, and in the back half we have a delay and a reverb. I love lo-fi, man. Lo-fi doesn't get a lot of a lot of love in the amp sim game, you know, where you just cut out all the high end and the low end and kind of have that just like megaphone type of sound. That's really important for me personally, whenever I have a big drop coming, I always use lo-fi, so that's really cool. Now the amp itself, right here in front and center, we have the channel selector. So if you click on the actual knob and change from low, mid to heavy, this, check this out, looks super rad, dude. We have low, which is your clean, mid, which is your crunch, shout out purple, you guys know I love purple, and heavy is red. Then we have gain knob, and then we have our EQ section. This right here, the tilt function is really cool, man. To me, this kind of just seems like a resonance or a presence kind of balance between the two. If you turn tilt it to the left, you have a lot more sizzle. And if you crank it up to the right and tilt it this way, you have a lot more bass, a lot more resonance. Then on the back half of the amplifier, we got 10 different IRs to choose from, and we have the ability to blend between the two, which is kind of the industry standard anymore, being able to blend different IRs and stuff. What's also cool is you can bypass the cab section as well. And then if you want to put on like a third party IR loader, you can do that as well. And then just have a different I don't know, cab type of deal. Anyway, man, long story short, a lot of different tweakability that you can have in the clairvoyant. One thing that's cool about the Clairvoyant is this is my first time ever doing some presets for an amp sim and a release. I've never done that. I've been doing YouTube and guitar related content for six years and I've been kind of well versed in dialing in amp sim tones. But this is the first time I ever got any presets in an amp sim. So you guys can check that out and get it with the Clairvoyant. You can get my own presets. I got baritone tones, high gain tones, chugs. I got a clean tone, ambient tones. Anyway, man, I think that's a really cool thing. I just wanted to make that a little bit uh, I'm going to make this part of the video a little bit special because this is the first time I've ever had the opportunity to do so. Cutting right to the chase, my favorite thing about the Clairvoyant is in fact the heavy channel. I think it sounds beautiful, man. My favorite sweet spot with this, generally speaking, is having the heavy channel and then having the tilt a little bit to the left, adding a little bit of sizzle. That makes it incredibly mix ready. You know, there's a lot of different pros and cons with all amp sims. One of the pros with the Clairvoyant is you don't have to do any external tweaking if you don't want to. Meaning, if you want to just load it up on a track, just kind of just find your sweet spot and that's it. That's great, man. You don't have to add any sort of multi-band or any sort of separate EQ if you don't want to. 
I just used this amp stem right on the track that you heard in the beginning of this video and it just worked perfectly, dude. All right, everybody, I just wanna do a quick demonstration here. Just twist some knobs with the clairvoyant to show you guys what I'm talking about here. Let's mess with this tilt function right here. So this is at it kind of like at a neutral spot. Sounds so good, dude. Um, my pickup, my bridge pickup is a DeMarzo Super Distortion. But anyway, let's crank this thing up to the right. A lot of low end gets added there. I uh, go the other way. Very harsh, very brittle in my opinion. So my sweet spot is just a little below kind of neutral, a little bit to the left. I think that sounds really good, dude. Um, let's mess with the cab section real quick, just so you guys can hear what this sounds like with the different IRs. Right now we're blending 50-50 between IRs 1 and 2. Let's go, I don't know, 1 and 7. Six sounds pretty good, man. It's pretty, uh, pretty bass heavy. Sounds pretty good. Another thing I love about this Amsim is the purple channel, the mid channel. The gain stage and the gain kind of just overall tone for this channel is very textured. It has a level of like, not fuzz, but just, I don't know if hair is the right word, sizzle, I don't know. It's got something in there going on. And I like that, man. It just adds a little bit of extra uh, to it. You know what I mean? I think it sounds pretty cool. Last but not least, one of my favorite things about the Clairvoyant is the overall approach with the marketing and just the overall philosophy with the amp sim. I am one that just doesn't like to deep dive into tones. I like to just play. I like to play. I'm not an engineer. I'm not a producer. I'm not a mixer. I'm a player. You know what I mean? I'm a guitar player. So at the end of the day, more often than not, I like to just load up an amp sim and just put it on my track and just go. I'm not one to get into the little nuances and the details of tone chasing. Generally speaking, every once in a while, that's a lot of fun. But my point is with what I'm trying to say with the Clairvoyant, this is a perfect amalgamation of just, it has a lot of different features, but it doesn't have a ton of different features. It has just enough for me personally to where it's like, load it up on the track and go. I think that's really cool. And they're kind of just catering to that type of player.
So if you want to pick this thing up, I'll put a link down below in the description. You can go check it out. It's $20 off for the first 20 days. It's 69 bucks for the first 20 days. And then it goes to the full price of 89 bucks. All right. I think it's really cool. And um, yeah, dude, that red channel. Whew. Wait, hold on. That red channel. I love it, dude. I think it sounds absolutely amazing, man. So a huge shout out to Modern Metal Songwriter. Congrats on your release. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of it and allowing me to create some presets for the release. I'm really humbled and honored. A thank you to you. Yes, you watching at home. Thanks for always just taking the time out of your day to just, just hang out and chill with me, you know? With that being said, everybody, I'm going to get out of here. Y'all stay safe, stay healthy, and stay metal. I'll see you guys next time. Later.